Today, OpenAI posted a rebuttal to Elon Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI, but it raises tons of questions. It's also extremely relevant to us Tesla stock investors because supposedly that rebuttal reveals some very shady stuff about Elon Musk. Let's take a look. The authors of the post include Sam Allman, the leader of OpenAI. OpenAI intends to move to dismiss all of Elon's claims. When starting OpenAI in 2015, Greg and Sam had initially planned to raise $100 million. Elon said in an email, we need to go with a much bigger number than $100 million to avoid sounding hopeless. I think we should say that we are starting with a $1 billion funding commitment that will cover whatever anyone else doesn't provide. OpenAI states, that we and Elon recognize a for-profit entity would be necessary to acquire those resources. As we discussed a for-profit structure in order to further the mission, Elon wanted us to merge with Tesla, where he wanted full control. Elon left OpenAI saying there needed to be a relevant competitor to Google slash DeepMind and that he was going to do it himself. He said he would be supportive of us finding our own path. In late 2017, we and Elon decided the next step for the mission was to create a for-profit entity. Elon wanted majority equity, initial board control, and to be CEO. In the middle of these discussions, he withheld funding. Reid Hoffman bridged the gap to cover salaries and operations. We couldn't agree to terms on a for-profit with Elon because we felt it was against the mission for any individual to have absolute control over OpenAI. He then suggested instead merging OpenAI into Tesla. In early February 2018, Elon forwarded us an email suggesting that OpenAI should attach to Tesla as its cash cow, commenting that it was exactly right Tesla is the only path that could even hope to hold a candle to Google. Even then, the probability of being a candidate to Google is small, it just isn't zero. Elon soon chose to leave OpenAI saying that our probability of success was zero and that he planned to build an AGI competitor within Tesla. When he left in late February 2018, he told our team he was supportive of us finding our own path to raising billions of dollars. In December 2018, Elon sent us an email saying, even raising several hundred million won't be enough. This needs billions per year immediately or forget it. Elon understood the mission did not imply open sourcing AGI. As Ilya told Elon, as we get closer to building AI, it will make sense to start being less open. The open in open AI means that everyone should benefit from the fruits of AI after it's built, but it's totally okay to not share the science. To which Elon replied, yup. They also attach full emails from which they used a few sentences or a few words, which gives us a bit more context. Here's another one. Here's the email where Elon said that the chances of open AI succeeding are zero if it doesn't raise a lot more money. But I have some serious questions here because uh, quite a few large parts are taken out of here. So do we really have full context of this email? I don't know. So yeah, I have some serious questions about some of these things that they published. Looking at this whole situation, I agree with Farza that I don't think Elon would have filed this lawsuit against OpenAI if Sam wasn't mysteriously fired by the board and then immediately return and then fire the whole board, basically. The reason why we are all here, I think, is because Elon does not trust Sam Altman, right or wrong. This is not about OpenAI being for-profit or non-profit, but more to do with laying everything out in the open so that everyone knows what the hell happened. At OpenAI, it's transformed into a for-profit company, formed a cozy relationship with Microsoft and a subsequent firing and rehiring of Sam Allman, which caused a massive shakeup at OpenAI's board. So OpenAI's rebuttal to this is that Tesla and XAI are doing the same exact thing, but they don't get to be transparent, so why should OpenAI? Here's where I personally have a major problem. So Sam Allman approached Elon to form a non-profit AI group so that they can tackle Google's accelerating AI ambitions. It was not Elon approaching Sam, it was Sam approaching Elon. So then they formed this company. Then if you remember, it was Sam Allman and Brockman suggesting that OpenAI should become 
for profit. Elon was extremely strongly against that, saying, either go do something on your own or continue with OpenAI as a non-profit. I will no longer fund OpenAI until you have made a firm commitment to stay or I'm just being a fool who is essentially providing free funding to a startup. However, over time, I think it became apparent to everyone that to develop AI, the company needs to be for profit because that's how you raise money. However, this is where we don't have actual details and I assume the reason why we don't have actual details is because it would look bad on OpenAI. Maybe that's not the case, but we just don't have the details. If Elon stayed, how would OpenAI go further? Would it just be shut down and then all the people would be hired by a new for-profit company? How would all of that work? Or would the work just continue under OpenAI as it was? My guess is the company probably would have been dissolved or shut down. And then a for-profit company like Tesla would have hired everyone, maybe not every single person, but an offer would be made to basically everyone. And the company would no longer be called OpenAI, therefore not breaking any rules or any initial promises. The way the whole thing was written it made it sound like Elon wanted to benefit from the non-profit structure. It doesn't seem like that's the case to me because they don't cover these exact details. So why would you leave these details out? You would leave them out either because you don't have the details or these details don't benefit you. Knowing Elon and watching the whole Twitter acquisition and seeing that even Elon Musk on X can be humidity noted and him not doing anything about it other than just posting under the community to know that, okay, the community to know was wrong or right. Knowing Elon's character, I don't think Elon would, let's say, let Tesla acquire OpenAI and still call OpenAI, OpenAI a non-profit company. If now the company becomes closed source, that just does not sound like Elon at all. Whatever research was done until then probably would have been available to perhaps everyone. And then Tesla would have hired all of these people or Elon would have created a separate company like XAI and then hire everyone and have control of that company. I don't think we would have a situation where OpenAI remains an open AI company with closed source for profit, but also a non-profit company, I don't think we would have had anything like that. Which is why I disagree extremely strongly with statements like this. Elon has portrayed OpenAI as a company with nefarious intentions for wanting to pursue a for-profit structure, and yet this was the plan all along endorsed by Elon when he stood to benefit, of course, if he got his wish and became its CEO. Lust for power, same reason why he had to buy Twitter. It was never about free speech. My eyes are wide open. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid. Nowhere in the OpenAI post did I see that Elon was going to take OpenAI keep it as a non-profit company, make it closed source while calling it open AI, therefore not dissolving the initial company. I didn't see that. As far as the second comment goes, less for power. That's why he bought Twitter. Elon Musk obviously encouraged people to vote Republican. I would assume that James would vote for the other side. And therefore, if he sees someone that's against your politics, you will naturally gravitate to this sort of comment. This is what I personally think. And you definitely have a lot more free speech on X now than before. Earlier, if you talked about vaccines or COVID or any of these things, you were redlining with your chances of being canceled. <laughs>